Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, recently Google has announced its own ID which is called as Google Anti-Gravity. And this specific ID is like a next generation ID which supports agentic AI development and all. Uh, you will be able to, it's, it's kind of a competitor for cursor also, uh, VS Code also. And I have, I hope you have seen me making applications in VS Code in cursor. So in this specific video, this is the first time that I'm using this. Uh, I have just downloaded the exe file. Uh, we'll make this video a little bit interesting uh, so that you'll also understand that how I specifically do my research, how uh, I like any new thing comes, you know, uh, how do I probably go ahead with it? You know, what are the important things that I usually check, right? So please make sure that you watch this video till the end. We will go ahead step by step in understanding what all uh, amazing things this ID can actually do. Okay. So first of all, uh, the Google anti-gravity here, you can see that it is the next generation ID here. You have a lot of use cases like here. You have three main use cases. Uh, if I probably talk about one is professional front end and full stack. When we talk about professional at its core, anti-gravity is still a fully featured AI ID, but the agent manager provides a new mission control surface for background agents to tackle backlog task, perform code based research and reduce context switching. Okay. And recently, if you know, uh, Google has also come up with its Gemini 3 uh, and uh, 5. By far, it is probably the best model, I guess, uh, because uh, we were seeing the metrics. It was very, very good when compared to the other models, right? And if you can see over here, if I just go ahead and click on explore use cases, uh, with respect to professionals, uh, you can do a lot of tasks here. You can see Google anti-gravity streamlined workflows by offering tools for parallelization, customization, and efficient knowledge management. Um, and they are like, you know, background agents, code based understanding. Uh, you can actually do reduce context switching, build for trust. And there are a lot of videos also, which we, which you can also see for this, right? And then you have another features like for front end, you can use browser in the loop iteration. That basically means if you're doing the coding, probably on the left hand side, on the right hand side, you can directly see how the UI may actually look, right? So that will actually give you the visual feedback, which is really, really good, uh, you know, because you have a kind of a browser integration kind of stuff over there, right? And there is also one more, which is called as full stack. Uh, it places an emphasis on verification communication to user via artifacts and all, right? And here, uh, there is also kind of pricing, uh, individual plan. This is the best thing about Google. It launches everything for free. So here you have $0 per month and uh, you will be having access to Gemini 3 Pro, which is good. Cloud Sonnet 4.5, which, uh, you know, cloud code also has this specific model, GPT OSS, which is an open source model also, right? Unlimited tab completion, unlimited command request, generous rate limit. So this is the best thing about Google. It provides you for free. It has a huge amount of money. So you can go ahead and try it out, okay? Now let's go ahead and download it. So for downloading, all you have to do is just click over here. I have already downloaded it over here, right? And uh, as soon as I started the execution, here you can see that the first option that I got was to choose the editor theme type. Uh, I've selected dark. And here you can see there are a lot of options. Agent driven development, agent assisted development, review driven development, custom configuration. So let's say that you are a kind of a vibe coding guy. <laughs> You can go ahead with agent driven development, but I would like to have agent assisted development because I still believe I'm a good developer and uh, review policies agent decides here. You can also select always proceed request review uh, all these things are so right now we'll keep this use the default alloy list for the browser. I'll go ahead and select next configure your keyboard binding. There is two options normal. Uh, there are some seven extensions, popular extensions it is going to install and it is also going to have a command line tool to open anti-gravity with AGY. Okay. Now I can go ahead and sign it with Google. I will go ahead and use one of my email ID for doing that. And once I do that, I think we should be able to open the anti-gravity. Perfect. So now it is setting up our account. Okay. We'll go step by step. I'm also using it for the first time. Okay. So this looks good. Here you can see. Uh, the UI is, is almost like VS code, but VS code has more information, right? Uh, here I've also opened cursor. So you can see cursor is over here. Okay. And in the cursor also, you'll be able to find, uh, on the right hand side, there will be a chat for the agent and all, right? So this is how my anti-gravity, this looks like, 
I can open my folder. So let's say that I go ahead and open any of the project. So many different projects are that I have actually created, you know. So let's open some cloudy projects, stock rack. Okay, I'll, I'll just open this particular project. Okay, just I trust author. So this is my entire project structure. Again, it looks good over here. And let me hide my face so that you will be able to see this. Uh, this is the agent here. You can actually do planning each and everything. I'll dismiss this. Okay. See planning fast agent can plan before executing tasks used for deep research and all agent will execute the task directly used for simple tasks that can be compiled faster. And here you have a lot of options with respect to the model. Again, as said, it is free for a specific user. You can go ahead and try it out. Right? So here I'll just go ahead and ask a question. Uh, explain me about the code base. Okay. So now probably we'll go ahead and hit this particular request and see uh, it is examining the code structure. It is fast. It is fast. This is really good. I think I'm going to probably switch to the anti-gravity. Um, but still, I have that very good feeling about VS code because I've been using it for a, a long time. But uh, this looks good, you know, and uh, let me just zoom in so that you will also be able to see this. So here it is analyzing all the projects, uh, run injection, run API. So I've created a lot many things over here, right? So here is my source folder. I have this embedding. I, I was basically creating a rag application. So here you'll be able to see everything and it is doing really fast It's using this Gemini 3 Pro and it is probably making that specific decisions quickly, right? This is good. And this free version can definitely be very, very important for all the people out there who do not like to pay any kind of money for the pro version. So getting started to run the system, you typically set up your environment with OpenAI API key, Python run this one, Python run API to start the server, each and every information you are basically given. Uh, let's say that I go ahead and ask, can you provide some improvements on the code? On the code, just suggest. Okay, so let, let's say that I've again asked some of the questions. Uh, we'll see some more uh, options with this coding agent, edit code in line, all these things uh, one by one. Okay. So here you can see I'm diving into this, 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 all the information is there. Reading vector stroke, crawl and implementation, everything is there. Okay. Um, then we will see this three important functionalities that it has. Right. And I feel this is the future, guys. Uh, you have to probably do the development with the help of agents. Uh, that is what we can actually see. Okay. Uh, one thing that I could not see over here, just a second, if I go ahead and write, okay, images option is also there, workflow option is also there, mention, you can add context based on this, but I did not see any MCP options, uh, which usually cursor, usually uh, cloud code usually has, but this does not have that basically means that it's just focusing on itself. I've analyzed the core and list uh, recommended uh, this one uh, recommended improvement. So here you can see all the information is basically there. Now let's uh, do one thing. Let's uh, open the agent manager once I'll just go ahead and press control E. So here you can see that uh, it is an agent manager. You can start the conversation. Uh, here is the agent manager. When you do control E agent manager, basically uh, uh, it, it starts agents on tasks like deep research, long running projects or background task. You can monitor the progress of multiple agents and all are there. Right. So I'll go ahead and see, okay, you can probably open any number of agents in short, right? So that is what this is all about. Uh, if you want to try coding with code with agents, uh, I will just press control L, which is this one. Okay. And edit code inline control I let's open my fun file control I. So here you can see, do you want to install the uh, recommended Python extension for MS Python? Yes. I'll go ahead and install it. So here you can go ahead and install any kind of, uh, uh, you know, extensions that you specifically require. And if you really want to start with any kind of ID, you need to have installation of Python and all right, if you want to go ahead and start it, right. So if you want to go ahead and execute it, so that that option is there. So you, you can go ahead and install it, I will close this. Okay. So mostly these are the functions along with this, you have this one, you have options of committing the code, all the ID functionality is almost same, nothing so different but i think this three are there the best thing for the user is that you have you use it completely for free you can actually work with uh, any kind of agents over here you can do vibe coding uh, the look and feel 
um, I would not say exactly it is like VS Code. It is a little bit different, but you know, at the end of the day, you don't have to do anything. You need you if you believe in Google Gemini models, uh, which they are actually providing you to for completely for free. You can go ahead and start planning and executing your code with respect to this. Okay. Uh, that was uh, most of it, but all the other tasks that you actually do in most of the projects, this can be really, really handy. Okay. Now let me do one thing. Let me go ahead and create one project from scratch so that you can also see that how fast it can actually do it. Okay. So I'll go to agentic AI. I will make a new folder saying that, okay, this is my anti-gravity demo. I'll start completely from scratch. I will open this. Okay, let's open this particular folder. Open folder, cloudy, agentic AI, and let me see anti gravity demo. Okay, so here it is. Uh, yes, I trust the authors. Let's open the terminal. The terminal also looks almost same like how it is for GitHub Copilot. Okay, command prompt. Let's see, I will go ahead and write UV in it. So it is initialized this particular project repository. I will go ahead and write UVV and V. So this is my environment. Okay. I will go ahead and activate things. Okay. And uh, quickly, I will go ahead and write UV add, let's say fast API. I want to go ahead and add this particular packages. Okay. Clear the screen. Okay. Now I can go ahead and say, hey, uh, create a simple calculator, calculator calculator app with fast api okay the reason why i'm using fast api is basically that i can actually run this also okay now it is probably planning and it does not have anything as such here you can see that uh, uh, uv also it is able to detect because you have this pi project dot to, to, uh, to ml file so here you have installed pi fast uh, api okay and now here you can see right all the information is basically coming up see now let's see, uh, open implementation plan. So I will go ahead and open it. I will proceed it. Okay, something is coming over here. I'll dismiss this, okay. Implementation plan. So this is the plan. It probably creates this, create a simple plan calculator. Uh, here you can see, I'll go ahead and accept this. It will run the command. Everything is happening. You can see modify main.py. All the information is basically here. And then you can ex execute it by using this command. UVCon, right? So I will go ahead and accept it. UVCon has also been executed. See, the command is also getting executed. And I hope so it is basically getting executed within the same environment, right? And here you can see all the information. See, terminal things, everything is basically happening. The UI, uh, still the UI needs to be better, but I feel, yeah, if, if a normal developer is there, I think he should be able to understand it, okay? Implemented backend logic. So in the main.py, you can see all the information is there. I will accept this. Okay. Accept it. And then you can see that we can run this particular command in order to go ahead and execute this. Okay. So now you can just open this particular link and your calculator has started. Yeah. So everything is working absolutely fine. So see how quickly within just a couple of minutes. Okay. And I can just say stop the app. Okay. When we say stop the app, you will be able to see that it will just go ahead and close the app. From here also, you can go ahead and execute it. Uh, uh, from this side also, you can go ahead and execute it. Right. So overall, I liked the anti-gravity. You should also definitely go ahead and try it out. This was it from my side. I hope you liked this particular video. Please do make sure to hit like, uh, share with all your friends. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.